Nearly 100 Wisconsin families have lost their loved ones during recent wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. In tonight's special assignment, NBC 15 Sarah Carlson and photojournalist Sam Sorensen show us one man's mission to heal with the power of art. Some people paint like Beethoven. Beethoven had to go back and rewrite music over and over again. Some people are so talented, they can just work with the brush effortlessly, like Mozart. I paint like Beethoven. Tim Mayer is on a mission. I knew the healing capability of art, and I wanted to create this living art project and program. For the last six years, he has painted fallen soldiers. I'm not going to say that this is my way of serving my country, because I don't think it's anything compared with someone who might be called on at any time and be asked to give their life. We want to focus on his face because the Fallen Soldiers Project is also a memorial project. James was one that from little on wanted to be in the Army. Usually for Halloween, that's what he was. This room is going to be the memorial room. It was after 9-11 that he decided for sure to go into the Army. James McDonald's first tour in Iraq was in 2004 for one year. He came home, then returned in 06. He was in a convoy. He was a gunner out the top. His convoy hit a roadside bomb. It actually just flipped my son back and whacked his head. James suffered a head injury, but downplayed it so his mom wouldn't worry. You know, and he called me, Mom, don't stress. I'm fine. I just bumped my head. James was sent to Fort Hood in Texas to recover and was awarded the Purple Heart. It wasn't long after that he spent a night out with friends on base. Then he went home, went to bed, and that was it. James, at the age of 26, died overnight. I got a knock on my front door. Private first class James McDonald has died. I said, no, mm -mm, can't be. He's, he's in Fort Hood. He's not in Iraq anymore. And they said, no, he died in his barracks. No. <laughs> but. They ruled out foul play and suicide, but never determined how he died. Unknown causes. The McDonald family fought hard for James to be listed as a casualty of war since the injury happened in Iraq. It was very devastating because he was a young man that wanted so to be in the army. He won't be recognized as a casualty of war. Um, he will by us. And he will by Tim Mayer. I think that there was a commitment by James to serve this country. Tim runs Artists for the Humanities. It's a nonprofit that includes the paintings or Fallen Soldiers Project in honor of those who gave their lives. This is Ryan Jerebek. This is Andrew Wallace. Moises Langhorst. Fernando Mendez. Adrian Solta. Since 2003, Tim has painted more than 70 portraits. The first casualty from the state of Wisconsin. Each one taking him between 60 and 100 hours. I owe the McDonald family and James my best effort. James was a big Brewers fan. What a big hearted kid he was. James also had a desire to be a firefighter. Oh, it just means the world to me. Well, you don't get over. You just move on. I know when the painting is ready. It's ready when I don't want to give it to the family because it looks so good. Tim really has found his passion with this work. He is now expanding the Fallen Soldiers Project to something called Return and Recovery. It's a new program that will help war veterans who have either physical injuries or psychological damage by using art as therapy. To learn more about Return and Recovery, head to NBC15.com where we have a web exclusive video. There you will also find a link to the Artists for Humanities website. With tonight's special assignment, I'm Sarah Carlson.